Right, we've got another product review here from myself at Cooch Country Store, Holy Lock Marina. Um, still keeping with the Zeiss theme at the minute. Um, we are a Zeiss Premier dealer, as I've probably mentioned. Um, so we're gonna be reviewing these little beauties. Uh, Zeiss Victory Rangefinder Binoculars. Uh, these are the 10 by 42s. Um, get an initial, initial uh, inspection. They come in a great box. They look fantastic, well made, everything like that. These I've actually had out, so I'll just go over the box real quickly. Uh, they mention the Zeiss hunting app when you open the first layer, uh, which I'll talk about later. And you open the second layer and you've got your usual things, your carry straps for your hard case, a carry strap for your binoculars, a uh, quick setup guide, uh, your lens cleaner cloths, that sort of thing. But this is just a box, we're not interested in a box. So they come in, which I think this is fabulous, absolutely great. Hard shell case, hard all round. Um, it has a little magnetic Zeiss buckle there and zips all the way around. Also, it opens like a halfway open like that. Slip your binoculars in. Uh, there's a couple of little pockets in there for your lens cleaning cloths, that kind of stuff. But for someone like myself who regularly has binoculars on the back seat of his truck or something like that, this hard case is fantastic. Um, I have a six year old that likes to fill my car with all sorts of his uh, really important toys that we must take wherever we're going. Um, and there's nothing worse than driving around the corner in your car and hearing a toy crane crash over and you think, oh great, that's probably all my binoculars. Um, but put them in this, they can literally slide about, drop off the seat into the footwell, no drama. Absolutely great idea, I like this, lots. Um, onto the good stuff, the binoculars. Um, I'll get to this at a later date, but this is a Rick Young Bino Harness that I imported from America last year, and they are great, but we'll come to that. We are here to talk about these, the Zeiss binoculars. Um, I first got my hands on a pair of these many years ago. Uh, a good friend of mine had a pair, uh, we're probably going back about eight years now. Um, obviously the optics, second to none, you know, absolutely fabulous. But I found eight years ago that the binoculars themselves were quite heavy, something we weren't really used to because rangefinders built into binoculars, that was kind of a new thing then. Um, so they were quite heavy, quite bulky, um, and, and put me off a little bit. Um, so I went with another brand, um, another really, really high-end brand, um, which we all know about. So I've owned my other binoculars five years, something like that. Flawless, absolutely flawless, absolutely great. Couldn't recommend them enough. Um, served me well, never had an issue with them. So I get these and they turn up and compared to what they were eight years ago, again, Zeiss have really, really had their thinking caps on and pulled out all the stops. So much, much smaller than what I saw eight years ago, much, much lighter than what I saw eight years ago. Uh, ergonomics, again, just, just perfect in the hand, where they've placed the buttons for the rangefinder and the settings, the right place for me. You know, quite big hands, I engulf the binoculars, when the buttons are sort of up here, I'm kind of holding the binoculars like this to be able to press the buttons, whereas now I'm holding the binoculars here and I'm on the buttons. As you can see, buttons are under my finger while we're holding on here. So, perfect, absolutely perfect. Um, they feel really, really strong, really durable. Again, their sort of waterproof qualities are, are, are as good as they get. Um, just, just by the feel of these binoculars, I would be confident that if I dropped them, there's gonna be no issues. You just pick them up and carry on using them. They're, they're gonna work fine. Um, so the usual stuff that you get with these kind of binoculars, You've got your, your, your front eye, um, eye cups, 
Uh, so on my old pair, they had like a rubber ring round, uh, you flop them down. And, and again, that's not really been an issue for many years. I've, I've had them in the last couple of years, the odd one pop off. Luckily it's done it right in front of me. I picked it up, put it back on, not been an issue. Um, so with the Zeiss ones, they come with this little strap here, which then I've connected to my bino harness, but obviously you can connect it to uh, the lug on the side there with, or your actual Zeiss strap. Um, so when you pop them off to look, they fall down, but they just hang down with the strap that they come with. And then you can just pop them straight back on. Um, so that, that all seems great. Um, again, they're silent, um, really well sealed. Um, they've got the size logo on, so yeah, smart, good, all work. Um, you got your your rear eye cups. I see they'll slide off with the bino harness and just hang there. You know, I quite like that system. Um, I'm not a big fan of having lots of uh, big straps, and I like to have my binoculars hang quite low because I have a rifle and things like that. Um, so that it suits me this system. Normal eye cups, um, different sort of factory settings, so you screw them out to that, to there, and to there. So depending on whether you're wearing glasses or not. Um, so that's all pretty standard stuff. Um, again, the optics, Zeiss have, must have just upped their game a lot in the last few years. I took these out, had a look, just blown away. Bear in mind, I'm, I'm using currently been using what would be arguably one of the best products on the market. I pick these up, walk outside, have a look, jaw dropping, right? Unbelievable. Um, seeing's believing. If you want to come and have a look at them, come and have a look at them. I had a, a customer in the shop the other day. He said, do you mind? He's got the same binoculars I've been using for a long time. You know, high end brand. He looked through them. Just again, astonished, absolutely astonished. Um, the rangefinder, that's the button for the rangefinder. The rangefinder uh, on my other ones, yeah, I mean, anything up to probably a little over a thousand yards, you know, accurate, deadly accurate, really good. You know, anything suddenly three, four hundred yards, just being there, gone. I took these out and I looked across the whole lot marina. I was range finding um, uh, Forrester machinery over a mile away. <laughs> just ping, there it is. It's just unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Um, yeah, so again, if you're in the market for a top pair of binoculars and you're not sure which way to go with a couple of the high-end brands, um, these are the best I've seen, uh, and I use binoculars virtually on a daily basis. These are definitely the best I've seen. These are staying with me. Uh, I can get more, <laughs> these are mine now. Um, these are absolutely brilliant. Um, light transmission, like the scopes and things that, that Zeiss make, the light transmission is uh, arguably the best. I mean, you can have extremely good data for a product that says it's the best light transmission, it's the uh, the best glass, the lenses, uh, the coatings and like that. Actually field testing the products will give you an idea. Um, and, and I can tell you at first and last light when other products are just needing a little bit more time to, to soak in some light, these things, <laughs> they're doing the business. So best things I've seen for a number of years. Um, again, if you wanna come out and see them, once COVID restrictions allow it, I'm happy to give any field test to anybody. These are the bee's knees. Hope you enjoyed the video. Any comments or questions, all positive ones, no negative ones. Any positive questions, I will happily answer. Thanks very much, see ya.